Today on the channel, we did a smoke burger. We used the yoder, we used some mesquite, we used some cherry, and a little something special. Stay tuned, I'll show you how we did it. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the patio. Today on the channel, we're gonna do some smoke burgers, but we're not gonna do just any burgers. We're gonna mix in a marinade. I'll show you how we do it. Let me show you how we're setting up the yoder today. We've got our half rack in, and over here I've got the grill grates in. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna smoke it 275 until they're almost done, and then we're gonna pull the plate, give them some sear on the outside. Now today we're using Costco's organic ground beef. Now this, this is 8515. Barbecue guys will tell you that's a cardinal sin. Your, your hamburger meat should always be 80-20. But don't worry about that because we've got a little trick up our sleeves. So what we're using today is we're using this uh, sweet mesquite and caramelized onion. It's a liquid marinade from uh, Growmates. It's actually designed for burgers and it says tasty or juicier burgers right on it. I've used it before. It's actually quite delicious and it's just a thick liquid with lots of caramelized onions in it and it adds some great flavor to your burgers. They definitely turn out juicy and because we're going to smoke them and slow cook them they're going to be juicy anyhow. You can pull them off to whatever temperature you want. But this just gives you something a little different than your standard barbecue. And we're just gonna mix that in there, or sorry, your standard hamburger. <laughs> we're just gonna mix this in here. And it's got everything that you need in that one little packet. So we don't even really need any salt or pepper. Just keep mixing this in here. Now these are gonna be a little bit moist which is okay. This is a pound and a half of meat. So we're gonna make some good sized burgers. That's all we need. A couple tips here. So Normally what I like to do when I'm done my burgers, I'll throw them in the fridge for maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes, let them tack up, help them stay together a little bit, let some of the seasoning enjoy, uh, get into the meat, depending on what you're using. Uh, but today, since we're gonna smoke them, we're gonna put them right on. Now I'm using a 50-50 blend of cherry and mesquite. Cherry's gonna give it some nice flavor and a little bit of sweetness. It'll go great with the marinade that we have in there and mesquite because I really like it on beef, um, especially when I'm only gonna do uh, you know, a smoke that's not gonna be very long. Like a long smoke skeet's way too overpowering. These guys won't be on that long, so they're gonna get some nice flavor from the smoke. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna put them up on the top shelf. Make sure you got some spaces around them. Let the smoke get around that meat. So we're gonna let these guys go until they're almost done. We're gonna smoke them uh, to probably around 145-ish. Um, then we're gonna turn up, we're gonna pull out the plate there and we're gonna turn it up. We're gonna sear them over the grill grates right at the end. Now, I personally uh, don't like pink in my burgers, um, especially store-bought meat. If I'm, if I'm grinding it myself, and I know exactly what's going into it, then I'm, I'm okay with it. But to be honest, with that marinade in there, these are gonna be super juicy anyhow. But you do you if you like a pink burger. Lots of people love it and it's totally up to you. If you're gonna go that route, I might pull them off maybe 115, 125, somewhere in there. And then you can get them searing over there and, and get that outside color that you want and a little bit of extra flavor. Stay tuned, I'll bring you back when we get a little further along. We are 50 minutes in, the burgers are at 140. We're gonna take some really thick sliced onion here and we're just gonna put that up here to allow it to get some smoke flavor. The burgers are looking great, got great color to them. What we're gonna do now is we're going to pull out the grill grates and the plate. Now 
Now, now we can get direct access to the fire, so we're going to dial this guy up. Now, I'm just going to let those come up another five degrees. I'm going to pull them off. Uh, just for reference, uh, probably around 35 minutes or so, 40 minutes, uh, they were at 120. So if you want to do more of a medium burger and pull them off then, that's a, a good reference for you. Again, we're at 275 the entire time. Um, it is, it's about four degrees outside. I'm showing off my Canadian wearing uh, a t-shirt out here. Um, but uh, just kind of, so you've got some reference points there. And real quick, if you like brisket, please subscribe to the channel. I'm doing a uh, video tomorrow. So if you subscribe, hit that notification bell. Uh, that'll come out next weekend and uh, we'll be doing the first brisket. We're gonna roll it out on the Yoder, so I'll show you how we do that. And uh, you know, I'm doing videos every weekend, so if you like what you're seeing, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Uh, we're gonna let this come to temperature real quick, and then we'll give those guys a sear, finish them off, and show you how they look. Been another five minutes. I wanna pull these off so they don't overcook. Gonna move my onions over closer to the chimney so we get the most amount of smoke and don't have them over the direct heat. Now, we wanna let this guy get good and hot. Check out those guys, looking really, really good. Um, they're gonna be delicious. Now, we're gonna let this get up to temperature and then give it another five minutes or so just to make sure those grill grates are super hot and then we'll sear it up and show you what it looks like. Grill grates are nice and hot. Let's get these guys on. Just throw my uh, buns up top. That's the sound we're looking for. Now that's hot, it's not gonna take long, so don't go running away from your grill. Uh, probably, we'll check them in a, in a minute here and uh, see how we're making out. Now, <laughs> before you have a heart attack, I am Canadian, we like yellow mustard on our burgers, and I'm not a cheese guy, so there is some cheese here for my wife. You do you, make your burger how you like it, uh, but I'm typically a uh, mustard ketchup maybe some barbecue sauce, which freaks a lot, some people out as well, and uh, some pickles. So check this guy in about 30 seconds, and then we'll decide if we're gonna tip, uh, flip it. Might be only about two minutes aside, but really we're just trying to get it, some color on them. They're cooked. Uh, I'm gonna get our, our bun toasted here a little bit. I'm keeping it up on, out of the way so that it can take advantage of the heat over here, but not get brown right away. That'll just warm it up all the way through. All right, that's one minute down. Let's see how we're looking on the bottom. We're gonna just give it a little bit of a rotate. And we'll let that go one more minute. One more minute down. See what we're working with here. Oh yeah. All right, so we're just gonna give the final side a minute. It's the presentation side, so we're not gonna get it too dark. Uh, just get some nice grill marks on there. Now my wife does actually like cheese on her, 
So we're going to put that on for right now. All right, move the buns down here. Got some nice, nice toast on those. So the wife doesn't want a bun, but she does want her. So let's bring that in there and we'll get this guy prepped. All right, let's get this guy prepped up. That's a burger. Got a beautiful smoke ring there. You can see there's a hint of pink left in there. So we're in good shape. got some great smoke flavor. All right, so let's try this bad boy. The onion is perfect that way, uh, just because it's, it's, it's still got just a little bit of crunch to it, uh, but it's nice and warm. This is gonna be a mouthful. let that guy stand right up like that. Mm. Well, my wife already told me how good they were, so I know they were good, but I love that, <coughs> that little uh, add on there, the marinade sauce, whatever you want to call it. But it helps make your, your burgers nice and juicy, but more importantly, it just gives you a different flavor. Something, you know, lots of people tell you salt, pepper, that's all you put on a burger, maybe some garlic. Uh, but this is just a nice little change. Tastes great. You can really taste the cherry and the mesquite. Uh, so it's got, uh, you know, a nice balance of smoke and flavor in it. Highly recommend you try it. Thanks as always for watching. I appreciate you supporting the channel. Please take a moment to subscribe down below. Give the video a thumbs up. Do new videos every weekend. I'll see you soon.